to our channel. I'm Joas and we're off on another adventure. You got it. We're going up there. This is Michael. This is our brother-in-law, Benjamin, and we're heading up to Alaska to buy some property. We're having a good time. We're going to be up there about, uh, I don't know, four days or something like that. This is Thursday, and we're coming home on Tuesday morning. So we're hoping to come home with a piece of property in our pocket. Well, here we are in the beautiful state of Alaska and this morning we're here We're driving around looking for property. We're meeting our realtor here before too long But we just wanted to we found a couple places on Zillow and a couple different places that we're looking at and this was One of our favorite spots when we were here last summer. The views are just incredible very beautiful and uh, Just it's like little Switzerland right here. Of course, it's now uh, April and it's still got snow on the ground but uh, we're really hoping that we're going to find some property up here somewhere. And uh, so we're just driving around and seeing what we can find. So come along for the ride. You know, as they say, <laughs> it's a rental. <laughs> uh, I kind of think we can get out of here. I just tried to do the uh, angle here and it kind of lifted my rear wheel off. Might have to give her a little push. All right, but we're looking at some property right here, which has some potential. It's 10 acres. This could be my future piece of property. There's no way of knowing yet. But this is a cool old birch tree. This is something you want to have planted in your front yard. Green grass growing around it. Have your kids climb on it every day. Ah, I love it. The view from my upstairs window. Maybe. We're hiking out of here and look what Benjamin found. A tiny miniature moose paddle. Wow, that is so cool. Good job, Benjamin, that's awesome. That's a baby, all right. Unless it's really chewed down. It is chewed down. It's but it kind of looks kind of fresh, actually. It doesn't look super old. Maybe it's just because yeah, it's it wet. Is, actually isn't. It's actually, yeah, it's just a real small paddle. It's a baby from last year, probably. Okay, now we're looking at 10 acres. Okay, now we're gonna look at a 40 acre piece right here. So we're checking out this 31.7 acre area here. It's just kind of in a floodplain, but we're gonna walk it anyways. It's got 1200 feet of river frontage. There's an American Dipper right there. This is really a beautiful piece of property, I gotta say. I think this may be one of the most beautiful pieces we've seen yet today. There's a bit of a mountain range out back here. It's a little hard to see, but this creek literally winds around. It's a 31 acre piece. It goes all the way around this property. And there might be enough space in here where some, one of us can live over here and the other one can live over here. We don't want to get too close, you know, because we can have a little bit of separation. But this is really nice. There's a lot of moose sign. There's beaver. There's ducks we've seen through here, birds. And uh, this might be the piece. We'll see. It's got a house already on it. We don't even have to build one. We'll just move in here. It's perfect, I think, right? There's an old trail on the property. And look at this moose rub. This is about six feet tall to the highest point. I think these are porcupine chews right here. Big old chunks out of it. And all up and down this tree right here. Porcupine went and just did a number. And even over here, in this tree, probably kill them. If, as long as he doesn't ring all the way around, they keep living, I guess. Yeah, it's got little chew marks on it. All right, good morning. Well, here we are. Here I am in Alaska with Michael and Benjamin, my brother-in-laws, as you know. 
And yesterday we spent the whole day looking at properties and we didn't really find one that we were really just said this is the one. We found a couple that could be possibilities. Uh, but today's a beautiful day. The sun's shining a little bit. Let me show it to you in a second here over the mountains. And we're going to spend all day today. Again, today's Saturday. And we're going to drive around and we're going to be looking at properties, some on our own, some with a realtor. And we're just hoping that we can find something that really is what we're looking for. So check out this old railroad station. This used to go uh, to Seward, 156 miles, and to Fairbanks, an old railroad that used to run through here, I guess. That's pretty cool. And then you come over here and look, there's the mountains. And there's the old water tower, which is really cool. That says Palmer right on it. So this is a this is the area that we're looking at. We might not end up landing here just because we don't really know if we can find property in this area. But you just look around. Look how beautiful it is. Look look at the mountains here. Isn't that that beautiful? That's why I like about you know what Montana's like. It's got all the mountains here. Everywhere you go, you have a view pretty much. Uh, it's just just pretty now. There's that and then I'll show you behind me All the way around here there are views of mountains Almost the entire distance Okay, it's time to take off and find some breakfast and get some coffee and uh, It's just a fun time a good time to hang out with good friends and uh, It's really cool that Benjamin came up here and is looking at property with us. I think that's so great and uh real thankful that he's doing that just for fun hanging out before we move up here here we're at the visitor center and this says that these are some of the items that grow here these sizes huge these are life-size re replicas of the cabbage beet zucchini and carrot grown in 2009 that attained world record weights says the carrot Oh, yeah, you're right. Michael's 18, right. Almost 19 pounds. Zucchini, 29 pounds. Beet, 42 pounds. Cabbage, 127 pounds. And that size has since been surpassed in more recent years. That's crazy. This is a great place to raise vegetables, which we're happy because we like to garden. So we'll see how that all turns out. That's pretty incredible. All right, we find a coffee, found a coffee place. It's a neat little place here. Hopefully their coffee reflects the outside look of the place well let's see if it's as good as it looks this has been really tasty pop open this coffee and see if it's they did a good job on the top oh that looks good it's good here we're looking at these properties by willow two lots for sale here's this little pond the property line splits right down the middle right here and there's like four and six acres or something now we're walking on an 80 no a 40 acre piece of property that has moose poop on it and more what i think we're looking for well we're expanding our search for land and we're clear down here in close to the town of knick on Settler in Settlers Bay, Point Mackenzie, and the tide's out. And this is the Cook Inlet. Wow, quite a view. We haven't found any property that has a view like this yet. This is just uh, right beside the road. We stopped to take some pictures. Well, we're having some chow here. You guys got to check out this prime rib. Now, that's some meat. Now, let me tell you something about that. That's 16 ounces of prime rib, an end cut, I guess. These boys are eating haddle, but good day, huh? Very good day. Yep. So we're still looking for property, but uh, I think we're making headway. So we're driving back to our motel in Palmer, and the sun's setting behind us, and it is just beautiful. Here we go all day looking at property that doesn't have a view, and we come back here to town. And everybody in town has a view. It's just kind of strange, I gotta say. It is so beautiful here. I can't get over how beautiful it is. And we're struggling to find property with a view. So I just don't know what to say about that. It's just kind of wrong. 
there's something wrong about this. I'm gonna strike out in a different direction tomorrow. I'll see if we can find something. All right, we're having coffee this morning at this ugly moose place, and uh, Benjamin's got to get a photo with a true Alaskan right there. A little coffee shop right here to get us some coffee. And this morning, the sun's coming up behind me, and we're gonna head off a different direction down to Sutton, Chickaloon, and Glen Allen and see if we can come up with anything down there that uh, might look in interesting and also just to see some new country. So we're gonna get a coffee and head out. We're driving up Glen Allen and it is a spectacular view all the way up here. Just fantastic. The Matanuska River below us. It's amazing. And right there, I believe, is the Matanuska Glacier. It's, it's like a state park. Um, it's a huge glacier right there that I think you can go kind of and explore. But just look at the mountains around here. It's pretty amazing how big these guys are around here. Everywhere you look. It's vast. Alaska is so big. Okay, our first moose. There's one, and the other one is standing over there, right out there. Well, right there's the glacier that we're looking at, and we just spotted two more moose right down here. There's one of them right there, and the other one is over here on the left, right behind that telephone pole right there. Look at that, look at that, that is sweet. Okay guys, this is seriously epic. We're driving along and Michael spots a doll sheep up there. This is crazy. See it right up there on the cliff? It's right up there. It's a small one. Now you can see both of them up there. The other one's laying down. And hard to spot. Oh, we're having a blast here. We're driving on the gravel bar here and uh, along the river. Wow, look at that view. You can't beat that. This is amazing. Okay, it's Monday morning and we just got out of the realtor's office and you guessed it, we put an offer in on a 40 acre parcel that we've walked a number of times and we feel this is probably the one. Of all the properties we've looked at, this seems to be the best uh, best one to, that might work for us. So we're gonna walk it one more time and uh, just, just look at it again. We've walked it a couple times now and we're hoping that this is gonna be it. And then we're gonna have to head to the airport after a while. All right, we got a little bit of a, a road access here. And right here is the boundary of where the, the property starts. There's a lot of pretty birch trees in here. And the beetles have gone through here and killed off some of this little spruce. So we have to clear this out. But a lot of these beautiful birch trees 
a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's leaving fast. I did see a moose in here yesterday. That's pretty awesome. Some good places for a house in here. All this pretty per birch. I can imagine a homestead in here. So we're just crossing our fingers and hoping that we'll get this. We did put an offer in, like I said, and hoping that they'll accept it. This birch is real special because we don't have this at home at all. Well, there's the sun. It's a pretty nice day. I can just see a garden going in right here in this area somewhere. It's a little bit of a slightly north slope, but I think we'd get enough sun. We clear some trees out. And maybe we could put a little garden in here eventually. Clear a little area for a little field or something like that. Big yard. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty. There's a couple different spots on this acreage that we could definitely get uh, get a couple building houses in here. I think trim get rid of all this little uh, scrub spruce and check this out. I think we're gonna have neighbors when we're here. What do you think? Well, we decided to take a small little jet down here, jet our way down here below Anchorage. And this is the Turnigan Arm. And just look how beautiful it is today with these mountains. A lot of traffic here, we're in some stop traffic, but just super pretty right here. This is only the, the, there's only two places in the world, I understand, they have what's called a boar tide, and this is one of them, and the other one's in Nova Scotia. What happens is this is so long and so flat that as the tide is coming in, the tide is still going out and it creates a, like a tidal wave. So this is pretty cool. Right now the tide looks like it's up pretty good. It looks like it might be flowing in. But uh, we're gonna go down here and go out to a town called Whittier to like a two mile tunnel. So that's what we're doing right now before our flight later this evening. Driving down here, and we spotted some Dal sheep up there. The little white critters way up there. There's several of them up there. That is awesome. And then look at this view over here. Pretty hard to take, I gotta say. That's Alaska around the Turnigan Arm right here. Here's the road to Whittier. It is beautiful. Oh. Was, we gotta take a picture of this. This was Benjamin's rush to get uh, fuel in the in the can. Yeah, yeah, it's actually Joe's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in the town of Whittier, and it is just very, very beautiful. This is Prince William Sound, and it is a very, very beautiful place. That's all I got to say about that. Wow, just very tall mountains surrounded by this blue water. I see a waterfall all the way over there. Oh, there's a couple of them all the way along there, actually. Wow, look at all of them. Man, oh man, 
this is beautiful. Such a beautiful day too is the thing. Just perfectly clear. Here is the Inn at Whittier, lodging, restaurant, and a tavern. Really cool looking old building. I assume it's old. It looks like the, the boards are really old. Really unique place right here. This is really cool. I can't wait to bring my family here. This is going to be really special coming this summer down here and enjoying the view on a weekend sometime. Very cool. Here we're at the inside of the lodge. Quite the curved stairway. It's be really cool staying here. There he goes. All right, we're here at the uh, airport, and it's time to uh, leave for home now. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video that I made, and we're not gonna know about that property that we made an offer on for a few more days. So I hope that uh, by the time you guys see this video, we will already know. So I hope uh, you enjoyed it again, and thanks so much for watching this video. And we look forward to the Lask experience in that each one of you follows us along and, and uh, hope it'll be fun for you guys as well. So thanks for watching and God bless you.